Hello. Hi, Hi Walter. Hi. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, Noe. Qué gusto. Hi, how are you? Ya está con un nuevo look. ¿Y por qué nuevo look? La veo usted. Es, cierto, sí, es verdad, ¿verdad? No. no sé cómo que se vende el cabello. No, estoy despeinada. Así más mamallitas, ¿eh? Sí, pero le luce, ¿Ah? <risa> Se ve muy bien, Ticho. Ah, bueno, muchas gracias. ¿Cómo están? Qué alegre verlas, de verdad. Le Carlitos. luce. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. And Lizzie, Carlos, no tenemos nadie nuevo. Hi. Elmer, ya ni me saluda. Barbaridad. Así. Ay. Así como dice el maestro. Un cita. Es bien. Ya ve que ya me habían extrañado. Roberto. Hi, Roberto. Hello. Norma Olso. ¿Cómo están? ¿Todo bien? Normita Campos y Norma Rivera. Yes, teacher. Yes, How are you? Teacher. Fine. Um, All right, Adriana. Hi, Adriana. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine, thank you. Excellent, very good. Ya ven, no se pudieron librar de mí. Mejor, teacher. Sí, se puede. Por más que lo intentamos. Ah, gracias, Elmer. Ay, estuviera llorando, niño Elmer. Bueno, él me dijo que le he hecho porque me maltrata. No, teacher, no. No crea eso. Ah, vale. Vale, vale. All right, guys. So, we have no, no new students, I don't think, so far. No, Ramiro. Hi, Ramiro. No. How are you? Y hey, mire qué galán. Tenerlo de regreso. All right, guys. So... So, welcome to Intermediate 2. Very good. Oh. Mi idea es llevarlo a los niños. Ajá. Yes. Ahí, por, ahí, por ahí estaba viendo que en el, en el chat que habían eh, personas que no, hab, no habían recibido. ¿Que no habían recibido el qué, Elmer? El, el, el enlace, el, el acceso, el enlace. Ah, de verdad. Gente nueva, sí. Elmer. Sí, teacher. No, de las que estábamos en el chat, por lo menos había varios que no lo habían recibido. Ahí estaban pidiendo el enlace. No sé si se inscribieron o... o... Senia, salúdeme, Senia. Qué barbaridad. Después, Senia. Ajá, perdón, Elmer. Sí. No, le decía que a saber si están inscritos y no se lo mandaron. O ajá, tienen mal su, su teléfono. Yo creo que a veces se van esos correos como spam, porque... Mm, puede ser. Okay. Siempre Exacto. los mandan ustedes. Pero, es que uno... Pero lo raro es que nos los mandan al... Bueno, sí, los mandan a las dos cosas. Sí. ¿Cómo yo... es posible que Ajá, fallen sí, las dos cosas? Caso... Sí, porque por lo menos yo lo recibí por WhatsApp y por correo. Uh -huh. O quizás ya nos vieron cara de malandrines a nosotros y que... Puede ser. Modo, <risa> Merito, pa. Así que ya no nos quisieron, pa, Noemi. Pues sí. Qué barbaridad. <risa> All right. Bueno, el merete es de ver... A ver, Elizabeth. Hola, Eli. Tiene la manita levantada, Eli. No sé si tenía algo que contarnos. ¿No? O solo está probando nuevas... Nuevas aplicaciones, nuevas. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, guys, let's let's begin then, okay? Are we ready to begin intermediate two? Yeah. Yeah, very good. All right. So I'm first, ready. Yeah, you're ready. Excellent. Me too. Okay. So we're going to talk about phrasal verbs. That's what we're going to start with, okay? So as it is usual, I will show you... Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. My cell phone. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, guys. I cannot get it open. Okay. 
Okay. So these are like we're gonna talk about phrasal verbs. Solo contarles un poquito los phrasal verbs. Los phrasal verbs son como yo los veo como una familia muy aparte de los verbos normales. Okay, porque los phrasal verbs se componen del verbo y de algo más. Ese algo más nos da otro significado. No es lo mismo decir give, yo le digo I give you my phone, te lo doy a decirle give up o a decirle give in. Entonces el phrasal verb cambia su significado dependiendo de la partícula que vaya a usar. Esta partícula por lo general es una preposición. Puede ser to, on, off, by, in, out. Muchas, muchas, muchas. Entonces dependiendo de la partícula que usted le agregue, así cambia el significado. ¿Verdad? Ahora, como siempre sigue siendo un verbo, que se llama phrasal verbs, Obviamente se puede conjugar en cualquier tiempo verbal, in present, in past, in future, it doesn't matter, all right? So yo puedo decir, I, yo me doy por vencida, ahorita yo digo, I give up. Le cuento que me di por vencida, yo le digo, I gave up yesterday. O usted dice, no, yo me voy a dar por vencido, no en inglés, eso nunca, sino que me voy a dar por vencido en cualquier otra cosa, usted dice, I will give up. Eh, lo que quiero que ustedes comprendan es que los phrasal verbs, no importa el tiempo verbal, yo lo puedo usar. O igualmente o de igual forma yo lo puedo conjugar con la persona que sea. Pero yo puedo decir, Ramiro gives up. ¿Verdad? En presente simple y le agrego ese porque es un verbo tal cual. Entonces las reglas de verbales no cambian. Lo que cambia es el significado del verbo, porque ya no es un verbo solo, es un verbo acompañado, ya no es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Entonces, ella cuando está, a, a cuando se acompaña de alguien más, es diferente. The meaning is different. Now, eh, let's see. Eh, Jennifer, can you read the title, please? Okay. Most common complaints parents have from their kids. Excellent. Most common complaints parents have from their kids. A ver, Ramiro, can you can you read this one, please? Turn off that light. Turn off that light. All right. Very good. Noemi, can you can you read this one? Clip up the garden. Clean up the garden. Very good. Um. Then I have. Let's see. Walter Guerrero, can you read this one right here? I, I can see, teacher. Can you please? Uh, <laughs> okay. Dele click adentro. Ya le di. No, eso no, es el ejercicio. Ahí dele. Clica ahí y suelta el mouse. All right, very good. All right. Hey, hey, Walter, can you read it, please? Hang up the towel. Hang up the towel. Hang up. Hang up the towel. The towel. All right, yeah. very good. Uh, Roberto, can you, can you read the other one? Hold on. Wait, turn down. Turn down. The, the what? The volume. 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 Very good. So turn another down. one, it says turn off the light, clean up the garden. Hang up the towels, turn on the volume, all right? So if you notice, look, there are two phrasal verbs right now that they are, they are using different particles. You're using turn off and you're using turn down. Turn down. Yeah. Teacher. Hola. Se oye bastante interferencia. Yo creo que no lo han puesto mute. ¿Quién será? Yo no. Elizabeth, hola Eli. 
Eli, Eli. Ya no, ya se oye bien. Ah, excelente. Ah, pues okay. ella era. Maybe. <risa> All right. Ok. Ok, entonces si se fija, aquí teníamos turn off, on this one right here, and in this one we have turn down. Diferente, el verbo es el mismo, turn. But number one, you say turn off, and in number two, you say turn down. Ok, so that the meaning is a little bit different, ok? Do you understand that? Yes. All right, very good. Let's go on. Uh, Lizzie, can you read the first picture, please? Yes. Oh. Lizzie, Lizzie, no? A ver, Glenda, oh. hi, Glenda. Can you read the first one, Glenda, for me? Get up. No, where are you guys? Alex, What's Aguilera, hi, Alex. Hi, good evening. How are you? Fine, thanks. Nice um, to see you. Nice to see you well, too. I don't see you, but I know you're there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very good. Alex, can you read the first one, please? Uh, get up from the sofa. Okay. Very good. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Norma Rivera, can you read the second one? Put on your shoes. Very good. Excellent. Then we have Adriana del Milagro. Can you read number three? Put away your books. Very good. And Noemi, can you read the last one? Hi, Federico. Take out the garbage. Take out the garbage. Very good. Thank you so much. So if you notice, we have put on and we have put away. The verb is put, all right? But you have a different meaning because you're using put on and then you have a different meaning when you say put away. You understand the difference? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Put on, Does everybody put understand? Away. Do you guys understand what I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah. Put on es de ponerse, ¿verdad? That's right, yes. Yo le digo put on your jacket porque está lloviendo. <laughs> or, put on, or put on your hat or put on your glasses. All right, and put away. Y put away es de subir. Es de, de subir. De, de, no, no, de, no, de, ponerlo, de colocar en. Ponerlo, pero en otro, en, en algún otro lado, lugar. Ejemplo, Colocarlo está, en otro sitio. Exacto. Usted está con el teléfono ahorita y le digo, put away your phone, porque no me pone atención por estar chatting. All right, entonces es como póngalo. <risa> o póngalo otra. Ponga, no es el caso, ¿verdad? Este es un ejemplo. Put it away. O usted yeah. le dice a los niños que recojan los juguetes. Put away your toys. All right? Mm -hmm. Entonces, okay. si se fija, el verbo base es put, que es poner okay. en el caso, all right? Pero put on es mm -hmm. vestirse o ponerse uno una prenda de vestir. Mm -hmm. Y put away es ponerlo en otro lado. Mm -hmm. Right? Ok. Ok. Very good. Next one. Thanks. I'm sorry. <laughs> Finish? Yes. Okay. How are you, Federico? Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Good. All right. Very good. All right. Let's continue with this one. Federico, can you read number one, please? Federico, uh -huh. Throw Federico. away the old TV. Throw away the old TV. All right, very good. Uh, let's see. Elmer, can you read number two? Turn out on the light. Very good. Anita, hi, Anita. Anita Dimas, can you read number three? Yeah. Turn, you off? Number three? Turn off. Turn off. Uh, okay. Uh, turn off the computer. Turn off the computer. Very good. And Elizabeth, can you read the last one? Elizabeth, are you not there? I guess. All right. Roberto, can you read that one, please? Put off your cigarette. Cig yeah. Cigarette. Put out your cigarette. Very good. Put out your cigarette, cigarette. again. Okay. Mire, ese sigue siendo put aquí. Put, igual que el otro, en, la, en el diapositivo anterior, que teníamos 
put on, put away, y tenemos away. ahora put out. El verbo base siempre sigue siendo put, but la partícula cambia. Mm -hmm. On, out, away. The same thing happens with this one. You say turn on, and you say turn off. El verbo base, ¿cuál sería? Uh. Turn. Turn, turn, all right? And turn. then depending on the particle, that's the meaning, all right? Okay. All right. Teacher, in this yes. case, uh -huh. uh, in this case, put, put off, es, en ese caso del ejemplo de cigarrillo, es apagarlo. Sí, apáguelo. Put out. Ah, put out. No, put off, es put out. Put off, so, teacher, uh -huh. the difference between turn off and uh, turn down. Turn it down is when you like do like you lower the vo you lower something. Turn but down. Turn, yeah, turn down is you lower something. Le baja algo. Okay. All right, but turn In off my, is like you you shut it. Lo apaga. In my PC. Uh, in my computer, the, the language English, the option for for power or, or turn off, uh, say shut down. Shut, uh, shut down. Shut down. Shut down means close. It doesn't mean. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what happens, Roberto, is that, that this is what I said. This is what I said at the beginning, at the at the very beginning. It's like the ver the phrasal verbs they have different meanings depending on the particle or at the, like the preposition in this case that you use all right okay but there are many uh that mean the same for example if i say turn off or if i say shut down oh, it's the same okay. it's the same action all right okay but it is said in a different way so the idea okay. here roberto is to know si creemos que hay muchos verbos en inglés phrasal verbs son el triple Right? Porque si se fija, imagínense aquí, turn, perdón, ¿verdad? Turn on y turn off, solo ahí van dos con el verbo, con un verbo, turn. Yeah. All right? Con el put ya vimos varios, put out, put on, put away, y con un verbo, put. O sea, si so, digamos hay mil verbos, phrasal verbs hay tres mil. All right? And they, they, they mean different things, Roberto. Okay. Okay. Thanks, y hay muchos que significan lo mismo, ¿verdad? Solo que dicho de diferente forma. Como usted dijo, bien dijo, shut down y turn off. Al final la acción es la misma, la va a pagar. Yeah. Ok, teacher. All right, Thanks. very good. Yeah. Ok, mire este, let in, let out. Y seguimos con el put. Llevan cuatro de un solo verbo. All right, you understand that? That's very much, like, that, that's a lot. All right, very good. Uh, let's see. Um, Eli. Hi, Eli. Eli, Eli, Larin, are you there? Hi, Eli. Hi, hi. Okay, uh, Eli, can you read the first one, please? Let? Yeah, let in the, let in the dog. Very good. All right, thank you very much. Uh, let's see. Adriana, can you read the second one? Oh, look at the little doggy. Uh -huh. Let out the dog. All right, very good. And the last one, eh, Glenda? Um, no veo, teacher. Yeah, es que no sé por qué me está costando con esto. It's put out. Put out the cup. Ajá, uh -huh, there you go. Glendita? Hola. Can you, can you see it now? No, no. ¿Lo sigue sin ver? Sí. Oh. ¿Alguien que lo vea? Put out the cat. Put out the cat. All right. Put out the cat. Sí, bien raro. But I think everybody else can see it. All right. So we have let in the dog, let out the dog, put out the cat. Okay? Ah, okay. yes. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Um, let me see who. Uh, Alex Aguilera, can you read this, please? Yes. Frasal verbs are mainly used in spoken English and informal text. Thank you, uh -huh. consist of Consists of a verb plus a part, particle. Yes, yes. Preposition, a verb. Uh, the particle can change the meaning of? The phrasal verb. <laughs> the phrasal verb. <laughs> Thank you, yes, sir. <laughs> That's nice. me la puedo. 
All right, I know. Yeah, it's hiding. So for, listen to this. Thank you, Alex, very much. It says phrasal okay. verbs are mainly used in spoken English. O sea, que eso todavía no se un poco más. Porque se usan cuando. <coughs> ¿Para qué? ¿En qué momento usamos phrasal verbs? Informal mm. text. Yeah, when we speak. Textos informales. Y, y cuando hablamos. O sea que lo, nos tenemos que saber qué quieren decir porque lo usamos un montón. All right? So, no es lo mismo decir, no sé, algo así como bien dicho formalmente y otra cosa es decir... Como el caliche. Ajá. Algo así. All right? Okay. Entonces es bien informal, sin embargo se ocupa mucho. All right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y okay. si se fija, dice que consiste en un verbo más la partícula. Que en este caso, muchas de ellas, estas partículas son las preposiciones o a veces son adverbios. Por lo general, son preposiciones. All right? Like on, out, away, todos esos. All right? So that, that's what it means. Dependiendo de la partícula, así cambia el significado. All right? Entonces, a veces, de un verbo tenemos 10 phrasal verbs. All right? Porque vamos jugando con in, on, out, away, off, no sé. Que lo que se nos ocurra, all right? A ver, sí, un ejemplo muy breve. A ver, eh, Noemí se me fue. A ver, <ríe> eh, let's see. Um, Walter, léame los primeros cinco, porfa. Can you read the first five? Okay, pick up, pick up the books from the top, from, from the floor. Mm -hmm. Turn off the stove. <coughs> Can up your jacket. Take out the, the trash. And get off the cut from the sofa. Okay, thank you very much. Walter, pay attention to this. What is in red is the phrasal verb. Turn off, hang up, take out, get off. All right? Those are the five that Walter read. But then you have... Um, you have here, pick up the books from the floor. Tenemos todo lo demás es un noun, all right? You say pick up the books from the floor. Si se fija, right next to it, tenemos with pronouns, all right? Entonces, en lugar de decir the books, como usted y yo lo estamos viendo, les digo pick them up from the floor. Divido el phrasal verb, el verb de la partícula, y pongo el pronoun, them, y lo demás queda igual. Pick, pick them up from the floor or pick up the books from the floor. Puedo hacer cualquiera de las dos. De hecho, los with pronouns son aún más usados que los con nouns. You understand? Yes. Repeat, teacher, please. Excuse me? Repeat the, the, the explanation. Yes. Aquí, in, in, in both columns, eh, Norma, we have the phrasal verbs, okay? okay? In this one, you have pick up the books from the floor. Porque estamos yeah. usándolos con nouns. ¿Cuál sería el noun? The books. The books. Okay? okay? But we can use it, Normita, with pronouns. En lugar de decir books, them. omito el books porque son plurales y them. le pongo them. Ahora, cuando hago eso, parto en dos mi phrasal verb. My verb y mi partícula. Los divido y entre ambos yo pongo el pronombre. The pronoun, all right? En este caso, them. them. Okay. Mire la segunda, turn off the stove. Off the the stove, stove is only one. So I say turn it off. Okay. En la, off mi televisión, por ejemplo, podría estar encendida ahorita y en lugar de decir turn off the TV, I say turn it off. El qué, turn la tele. Off. Ahorita, en el caso que usted esté en su casa, yo estoy en la mía, si yo le digo, usted me va a decir, ¿de qué me está hablando? Porque no está viendo a qué it me refiero, puede ser la tele, puede ser el radio, puede ser la cocina, puede ser la computadora, puede ser el teléfono, puede ser muchas cosas, ¿all right? Entonces, si el, lo, con los pronombres funciona cuando usted y yo estamos en el mismo lugar. Y yo le digo, no me haga un favor, turn it off. Y ya sea que lo único que está encendido en la casa sea la tele y obviamente Noemi entiende que es la tele. O le, mm -hmm. le muestro la tele. Le digo, Noemi, turn it off, please. Entonces ya ella entendió que es la televisión o es el radio o es la computadora. Mm -hmm. ¿Ya? 
Okay, yeah. All right. Okay, very good. Eh, sigamos aquí. A ver, um, Ana Dimas, eh, léame las otras tres. Turn down the radio. Desde ahí siga, porfa. Turn on the computer. Throw away dirty books. Okay, continue. Clean up the mess. Okay. Eh, and the, the last two, put away, ¿cuál sería? Um, Alguien que me los lea, por favor. Put away the food. Ajá. Uh -huh. The surface. Ah, right, the surface. All right, very good. Y si se fija, a la par tenemos lo mismo, ¿verdad? Turn it down, turn it on, throw them away, clean it up, put them away, clean it up. Okay? Okay. Questions so far, guys? Do you have any questions? Ah, eso no te aprende, Sí, sí. Only. Uh -huh. Only. <laughs> Detallito. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. All right, very good. Sí, eso es el pequeño detalle, right? <laughs> All right. Espérenme aquí. A ver. Okay. Teacher. Hoy, dígame. Teacher. Eh, yes. Regrese. ¿Para dónde? Ok, solo <laughs> usaríamos them e it. No, no. With pronouns, o, eh, his, o okay, qué, o alguna otra cosa. His. his. Eh, lo que pasa que... Mm, turn it... Um, yo puedo decir turn his computer off, pero ya es un, un possessive adjective. Pero como dice usted que no hay problema, ¿cómo podemos usarlo en qué tiempo ni nada? Sí, ¿no? O sea, ahí usted puede decir, por ejemplo, estamos hablando de la computadora de Roberto. Entonces yo le digo a usted, eh, Noemi, turn off the computer. O le digo, turn it off. O para ser más específica, le digo, turn Roberto's computer off. O turn his computer off. Pero okay. el Roberto's computer es lo mismo que yo diga, it. ¿Cierto? Porque es la computadora de Ok. ¿Ya? Teacher. Yes. Um, if I say throw them away, uh, what is the meaning? Uh, only throw in, any, in anywhere or in an specific. Uh, uh, when I say throw them away, it's garbage. Oh, uh, garbage. Yeah. Okay. If I, for example, Danilo, if I say throw them away on the box, Es como, tírenlos ahí en la caja, pero si yo le digo, es, y esto sirve, teacher, no, throw them away, ya, bótelo a la basura. ¿Ya? Ok. All right. Any other question? No. All right, very good. Alex, no sé si... ¿Qué significa? Ajá. ¿Qué significa dirty books, teacher? Dirty books? Los libros sucios o manchados. Ah, pensé, lo pensé de otra manera, disculpe. Ah, el magazine. El magazine. Ah, el magazine. Ah, ah, ah. Yes. Bueno, es que como yo soy bien inocente, no, no pensé otra cosa. Yes, play, 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 throw away. Play, play. Throw the dirty box. Away. I guess. Ahí se depende de qué away. libro, Selmer. El mercito que le pasó. Hola, right. nada, dígame. Nada. No, that's okay. Can you take a picture of these guys, please? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay. I can't find. All right, ready? Okay. Okay, so the idea is that you have to use these phrasal verbs with these sentences, okay? Some of them you have to split. 
some of them, uh, en algún caso, va a tener que, que, que dividirlo, que separarlos, all right? Y otros no. Usted vaya viendo cuáles divide y cuáles no y qué significa cada cosa, all right? Okay. All right, so let's go to your groups right now, guys. Please click on your groups right now. So we're going to have eight groups. To, you have to um, your cigarette when you enter. Shut up. The no smoking area. You have to shut up your cigarette. You have to. Hi, guys. Two? Hi. Any questions? Uh, so far, so good. Yeah, we have to choose from the phrasal verb that are in the right side. That's right, yes. Okay, you have to do, 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 do. your cigarette when you enter in the non smoking area. Okay, Walter, I think in this case is you have to put out. What? Um, so that's number no. one, Alex and Walter? Uh, it's the number two. Num okay, the, the first is you have to... I don't know, take off. No, the cigarette, no. Hi. Take off your cigarette. Uh, no. Oh, you have to get put. your cigarette off. Probably put, put out. You put have out. to put your cigarette you out when you enter. Uh -huh. That's right, uh -huh. I think so. Put out. Okay, you have to put your cigarette out. Hi. Hi, hi. You okay? Hola. Good evening. Good evening, my, my friend. My dear teacher. Eli, me parece que no le sirve el micrófono. Hi, ah, Eli. Ah. Hola. Hola, Eli. Eli está con usted, Elme. Sí. Eli, creo que. Sí. Sí, vea. Él me escribió mi. Salieron de. Él me. Cortado. It's about the raining. In my country, it's raining. In your country or in your city? In my city. <laughs> in my town. <laughs> in your town, all right. Pero el mercito le va a ayudar. In my country too, teacher. In my country too. <laughs> yeah. In yeah, it's, it's, in the, it's all the country, teacher. I think so. Yeah, it's been raining a lot. Yeah. But it's delicious weather. 
No, yeah, I like it when it rains, but sometimes when it rains too much, I don't like it. How do you say I like your uh, appearance? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Why? It's the same? No, no, it's a good teacher. I like it. But it's the same, Elmer. No, no, it's, it's, no, no, it's the same teacher. No. No, rejuvenecion. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay. Sí. Va el mercito, trabaje no sé. juicioso pues. <risa> Eli. Ok, Kenny. Eli. Kenny. Hi Noé, hi Fede. Oh. Hi, hi, hi teacher. You need help? Uh, no, ahorita no, teacher. Not right now. Okay. Mire, eh, bueno, mire, en la primera nos imaginamos que es con, con pronombre. That's right, yes. And it is, you have to put your cigarette out when you Excellent. enter this. Excellent. No. Very yes? good. No, yeah, yeah, for sure. Ahí venimos más listas, teacher. Of course. Que no nos queremos quedar, teacher. <laughs> okay. The two the firemen are trying to the put out, puede ser. Which one? Right. The no. two or put back. No. Turn down. No. <laughs> what happened, Noemi? Espérenme, es que espérenme, es que no, no me puedo los significados ya con las cosas. Uh -huh. Entonces, espérenme. The firemen are trying. 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 Ok, molesto o molesta. Ok. And the firemen are trying. To el, what? El que dice, el bombero está molesto. No, está intentando okay. o está tratando, Eli. No es. Eh. Put, put out. Uh -huh. Find out. Find out, yes. Find out. No, pero find. Teacher. Es porque él está, los, descubrir. Él, los bomberos están tratando de descubrir. La causa del incendio. Oh, yeah. Ya sabía yo. Of course. Era para ver cómo. Causa. ¿Qué tanto? <risa> ¿Qué tanto usted la hacía? Of course, yeah. <risa> Federico, Santo you padre. agree? You okay with that? Yes. Is uh, number three. The planet is going to... To... Put that. For which one? In three. Uh, number in three. Sweating. Or fly away? Uh, the planet is going to. The plane is going to. To. Put that. No. No, 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 no perdón. Fly away? Maybe. Fly away. Ah, uh, no. Alejarse. No, what about there's another one? Ah, pues la que él dijo. ¿Cuál, cuál dijo Fede? Put back. Put back. No, no, no back pero no, it's no. Put up. No. Shoot yeah. up. No, shut up. <laughs> Broke into. No, no, I mean. Fly away. Fly, no. No, it's no. Get in. Va a despegar. How do you say despegar in English? Fly. Despegation. No, no, eh. <laughs> ya me voy Espérame. para que lo averigüen. Adiós. Ay, teacher. A ver, des. Hi, Adri. Hi, Lizzie. Hi, Hi, teacher. teacher. 
How are you? What number are you working on right now? A. Number A. Okay. The Bulgar broke into Excellent. her flat. That's right. I, I, I had a question to share. Yes, what's your question? In the, in the number three, is take off That's or right. fly away? No, take off. Take off. Okay. In the number seven, uh, I, I don't know, made up or put up. You cut and make yourself comfortable. Um, I think which what are your choices? May up, no, or put up, tampoco, ninguna. In, in what? In number en seven. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. May up. Sigan pensando May up. But number seven is not. Correct right now. When, okay. You know what happens, Adri and Lizzie? Sometimes there are there is a phrasal verb that has different meaning depending on the context. Okay. All right. So there is one in this sentence, there is a, ver, a phrasal verb that you already use, another one. But the meaning is different depend, because the context is different. Okay. 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 Thank you. You're welcome.
sea, them or it, que hay que separar el, los tres adverbios. Yeah. Por ejemplo, en la cuatro. My brother used my things and never put Hello? them back. Hi, teacher. Hi, are you finished? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, any questions? Uh, only in the in the number eight. Uh -huh. uh, we we made that translated a uh, burglar as a as a thief. Burglar, yes, burglar is a thief. Uh huh. Okay, and then we put the burglar letting her flat. No. 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 Because letting is if I tell you, for example, you come to my house, Norma, and I let you in. Like I tell you, okay, come in, and I invite you to my house, uh, or it's okay for you to come in. But I'm not gonna say to a burglar, come in, or let in. Like I'm not gonna let someone in if I don't know them. All right. Okay. So it has to be Listen. some. It's a it's a different phrasal verb. Okay. Let me see. Is put out. No. I, I can take because, off because I understand her flat is on of the same floor. The flat the, is an apartment. Ah, it's an apartment. Mm -hmm. Take off. No. Open. It would be um it has to be in simple past also in this sense, in this case. Broke, broke into. Excellent, yes, broke into. Broke into. Okay. Any other question? Like broke into es como cuando usted dice el ladrón se metió a la casa, pero obviamente no pidió permiso. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Se metió a robar. Entonces en inglés cuando usted le, yo le digo, fíjese que someone, yo no sé quién, pero someone broke into my house. Entró a mi casa, obviamente, sin un permiso, sino que se metieron a la fuerza. Cuando usted dice, se metieron los ladrones, ese, ese se metieron los ladrones es broke into. Okay. Mm. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. Any other? Thank you. Um, no. Okay. No. Thank you. All right, we're going to go back to the main group now. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Anita. Thank you. All right, guys, uh, is everybody finished? No, teacher. Um, no? no? What no, number? Or I miss number nine and, nine and 12. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, but most of them are finished, yes? Yeah. 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 All right, very good. Yeah. Together. Let, yeah, let's check it together. Number, um, oh, no, number one, number two. <laughs> oh, yeah, number yeah. one. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. First two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Okay, Ladies so what's first. number one? <laughs> Ladies first. Uh -huh. uh, let's see. Norma, Rivera, what's number one? You have to. You have to put off your cigarette let in when you enter the non-smoking area. Non -smoking area. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. In this case, Normita, you're supposed to use oh. only one phrasal verb. But in this case, it has to be divided. You have to split it, Norma. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. it is similar to them. Excellent. Very good. Or in this case, it, verdad? Because we're talking about one cigarette. Okay. And then uh, okay. you have to put your cigarette out when you enter the non-smoking area. Perfect. Right. Very good, Norma. Yes. Okay. That's how it should be. All right. You have to put your cigarette out when you enter the non-smoking area. Very nice. Uh, Ramiro, what do you have for number two? Who are you working with, Ramiro? 
eh, Ana Dimas. Ah, ok, ok. Um, the firemen are trying to find out the cause of the fire. Excellent. The firemen are trying to find out the cause of the fire. All right. The so find the out cause, would be like a very one. The cause of the fire. Mm -hmm. Very good. Number three, Alex Aguilera. Who are you working with, Alex? Uh, number three. Yeah. I work with, with Walter. Ah, okay. All right. Okay. Do it. Can you can you tell us number three? Uh, okay. The plane. The plane, is... the plane is going to fly away in twenty minutes. Okay. It, does anybody else have a different for number three? No. Yes. No. no. Yes. Uh -huh. Tell me. Take the plane off. take off. To take off yeah. in twenty minutes. Yeah, the plane is going to take off in twenty minutes, or the plane is going to fly away in twenty minutes. Pero realmente lo decimos más como take off. Va a despegar. No va a volar. Mm. <laughs> so it's take, it's, take it's, off. Take off. Yes. Okay. Las dos cosas, dicha. Sí, sí, pero se usa más take off. <laughs> All right. Oh. But it's okay. It's okay. okay. All right. El Mercito, ya que habló, number four. <laughs> my brother used my things no, and no, no, never. No, 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 no. Léalo bien, El Mer. My brother, ¿qué? My brother used. Uses. Ah, uses. Yes. My brother uses my things and never put them put. back okay. yes. put them Anybody back else? yes put yes back? yeah, yeah. Okay. put yeah. them back that's right very good adriana del milagro number five adri the music is too loud turn it down please Excellent. Turn it down, please. Very good. Number six. Um, let's see. Eh, 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 Roberto. Roberto, no. Yes, the, the police say put put up in hands and don't move uh, muscles. And don't move a muscle. Broke into muscle. No. Um. Anybody else has number six? Pura. Uh, what is this? Pura. The police Pura. said. Uh, broke it. Broke into. No. No. Broke into is not no. I mean. Made. Anybody else with number six? The police said. Uh huh. Shut up. No. <laughs> Made up. Put out. Put out. Put back. Put, Put, back. Back. Put back your hands and don't move a muscle. Put. Put back. Could be. De or another one. Atrás. Sí, o a otra. Oh. Mm. Back. Put out. Levanta las manos. Put up. Put up. Stay up. Uh, yeah. Put back. I think that's the pro the most accurate one. Mm. All right, or put out. Mm. All right. What about number seven? Take off your coat oh. and make yourself comfortable. Excellent. Take off your coat and make yourself comfortable. Okay. Si pusimos en la número tres, the plane is going to take off in twenty minutes. Y en la número 7, take off your coat and make yourself comfortable. Si se fija, es el mismo phrasal verb, pero depende del contexto, tiene diferente significado. Mm -hmm. En la 3, mm -hmm. the plane is going to take off, va a despegar. Y en la 7, no es que diga despegues el, el... <risa> abrigo, sino que el abrigo. <risa> Eh, y póngase cómodo. Y póngase cómoda. All right, cómodo. Very good. All right, very good. Number eight, Glenda Morales, can you do it? No. You, you don't have it, Glenda? No, make, no, no la hizo. No la hizo. A ver, intentemos la junta, Glenda. The, 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 the,
The burglar, do you know what burglar is? Broken Broken Get in. No. Broken into. Broke into. Broke into. That's right. Broke into. Broke bro into. Cuando usted dice broke into o break into es cuando usted se mete la fuerza. Okay. Right. Y se metió, se metió. Usted dice que español se metieron los ladrones. Ah, pues así. Broke Thanks. into in your heart. And impossible. <risa> Todo está bueno, cualquier amoroso. oportunidad está bien en el marcito. Ajá, bien, está bien. All right, next one, number nine. Um, Norma Rivera, what do you have for that one, Normita? Our parents had an argument last night, but they uh, should up today. No. No, 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 no. no. Uh, an argument last night. An argument, uh -huh. they made up, teacher. Excellent, they made up. Ah, Cuando made usted up. tiene una, oh. una pelea con alguien, eh, usted dice, let's made up, we made up. Es como que nos arreglamos, vaya, nos reconciliamos. Ah, ok. Oh, oh all right. Oh. I made up. Very good. Uh, hmm. Let's see. We uh, Lizzie number ten let, y después va el hilarín. Let in your, number ten. Uh, let we, in. <laughs> we get in to New York at six o'clock to about avoid the traffic. Okay. All right. Anybody else has something different? Let in. Yeah. Y usted qué tenía? Get in. Ah, no, ah. Eh, ella puso get in y yo le digo let in. Let in, yes. Get in, let in. Uh, we let in to New York. No, we get into New York. Get or let? Get. It, it, get. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Just give me a second, guys. Please give me a second. Sorry. Okay. All right. Okay. That's okay, teacher. Por qué no puede decir let in, teacher? Porque no dejamos, no dejamos a que Nueva York entrara, sino que entramos a Nueva York. Ah, ok. Ajá. Ok. All right. All right. Uh, Eli Larín, number 11. Yes. My mother opened the door. Open the door. Put, and put out the, cat, the old cat. Ay, no. Get in. Yeah, let I, in. Let in. Ahí es let in, in vea. Yeah, ahí sí. My ahí mother, in. yeah, my mother opened Vaya the way. door and let in the old cat. Um, yeah, let in, all right? And the last one, please be quiet. Shut up. Shut up, up all right? Shut up. Oh, qué malvados. Don't say shut up, that's not <laughs> nice, all right? Okay, guys, so uh, we, today we were talking about phrasal verbs. Mañana vamos a seguir un poquito con esto para darle cierre al tema, ¿verdad? Porque usamos el will, el can, y ponemos el please para no hacerlo tan grosero a veces. All right, como que fuera una orden, sino que yo le digo, can you turn it down, please? Can you, like, I don't know, shut it off, please? All right. Y cómo se puede contestar cuando alguien le pide esas eh, cosas, digamos. All right. ¿Y, ¿Y cómo okay. se puede suavizar ese please? Be quiet. Shut up. Please. 
Creo que cuando usted dice shut up, ya no lo puede suavizar. Okay. Es como que bien raro que le digo shut up, please. All right? Pero anyway, como todo se puede. Please shut up. Ajá, sí, please shut up. Es como raro, pero bueno. All right, guys. Me dio un gran gusto volverlos a ver. Very good. Eh, nos vemos mañana. Please be in class. Y empecemos a trabajar en esa plataforma para que no se nos acumule. All right? Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right, guys. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Bye.